Our first stop on this How Healthy Happens journey brings us here to Beverly Hills, where we're about to head inside and meet the woman behind the brand of Mary Ruth's Organics. She's gonna show us some of the products from her line, as well as how to make a delicious and easy vegan pasta. Let's go have some fun. Mary Ruth, thank you so much for having us in your kitchen today. What do you got for us? Have you heard of liquid chlorophyll? I have been hearing so much about this, but please tell me more. Okay, this is the number one thing that is trending on TikTok. So there's two really easy ways that you can enjoy chlorophyll. So the first, literally all you do is somewhere between 18 to 36 drops, just watch the water. Okay, so we'll do 18. That's what I usually do every day. And you can see that already the liquid chlorophyll is just beautiful in the water and it's gorgeous. If you take note, you, another great way for summer is to just make liquid chlorophyll ice cubes. This is even easier. It's usually four drops per ice cube. This is so popular. People are making ice cubes out of essential oil of rose, coconut water, and sometimes even people will take parsley, they'll chop it up and they'll freeze it in ice cubes. And then when they go to make a uh, soup, they take one of the parsley ice cubes and already you have like some parsley in the broth. That's genius and I love that this is liquid so you're not having to deal with powders and it's so easy mm -hmm. to store. It's gorgeous. I would love serving that. I also hear we're making a pasta today. Yes, and this is one of my favorite easy, simple ways to make pasta because once you learn the basic scenario, you can make a variety versions of this pasta. I love to make a gluten-free, dairy-free, creamy basil shallot coconut milk pasta. And the basil goes so nicely with the liquid chlorophyll. So first things you wanna do is we use one can of full fat coconut milk. Delicious. And all you so do. So this is all vegan. It's dairy free. And it's so creamy. It's amazing. You're just going to take the whole can. We want to bring this to a boil. This is the perfect ratio. You add three fourths teaspoon of salt with the coconut. Full fat is really key. Otherwise, you're not going to get that creamy pasta sauce. Very quickly, we're just going to chop basil. Oh, and it smells so good. And you get all those summer aromas. Some people just put it in whole. I'm just going to like chop it really rough chop. And then sometimes this is coconut milk basil. Uh, today I used air fryer white onions. So you can do either shallots or white onions. And we're going to put that in the sauce. And then you have the pasta sauce simmer on low for 10 minutes and it's done. This is the key to make it taste restaurant style. All right, this is the, this is this the, is the key. Trick. You don't okay. just take the sauce and dump it on the pasta. No, 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 no. So what you want to do, and you could literally just dump all the pasta if you're doing family mm -hmm. style. One person, a la carte over here. There we go. She's the short order chef. I, this is, I'm basically <laughs> going to be sharing this with you, so. I love it. This is a smaller version. And what we'll do is we will let it become a little bit boiling and it starts to become thicker gelatinized, become much creamier and stick to the pasta, looks more like mac and cheese. So, so that kids will like it too. Absolutely, 100%. Oh, that's so great. And I love that this is just a few ingredients. I love that it matches the ice cubes. They this go is so, so nicely great. together. Thank you so much, Mary Ruth. This has just been awesome. And if you're thinking about making these chlorophyll ice cubes, then we have got the perfect water company that is gonna pair with them.